hi all welcome back to geometry training videos in today's session we will be discussing about the uh, parameterization how to do parameterization for uh, urls like uh, this host names and how to pass random number and how to pass uh, date and time values so those things we will discuss today so first we can go ahead and discuss how to do parameterization uh, base demo dot com uh, url okay url uh, doing parameterization using csv config file is not right thing because we are always passing only one url so if you want to pass different urls then go ahead and do csv dataset config element uh, if you are using only single uh, url always go with the uh, user defined variables here you can pass that name and value that can be passed everywhere okay so i suggest always go with the uh, user defined variables instead of uh, going for csv config element because that is static right only one time if you want to use any data only once always define them in user defined uh, variables okay so this one i want to run only once that parameter file uh, that url then i can go ahead and write this one so how to add your different variables right click on uh, test plan go to config element and add user defined variables okay this is the way you have to do okay once you add that you will get this way and here let me go ahead and do post name just enter some name valid name and just pass that uh, value here now take this uh, host name and replace wherever you have blaze demo dot com uh, like this okay so let's copy same thing and uh, paste here okay here and uh, here wherever you see this blaze demo dot com you can replace this one so now onwards whatever values you pass here that will be passed here if i make blaze demo 1 automatically blaze demo 1.com will be passed under host name so that way you can make changes only once here it will be applicable this entire thread group automatically okay even if you have 100 thread groups this will change if you make this change it will be applicable for all the thread groups okay for now let's go ahead and run and see whether it is working or not uh, let me make only one user and only one iteration and see whether it is working or not okay if you run here you can see them here you see we are sending base demo dot com okay so uh, yeah this is the way we can find out how the values are going okay so it is going good all the blade demo dot com this blade demo dot com everywhere it is passing blade demo dot com only okay so it is working now so now what we can do is we want to pass some uh, let's say i want to pass some uh, date so how to do go there is a function helper go here and search for time there is a function called time so this is the one you want to pass some time right what is the format you want to pass dd date mm month yy okay just click on generate you can see what date you want okay if you want month first then give mm then dd yy so this way if you want uh, backslash you can go with this way also whichever format you want you can decide and you can change here automatically it will generate function for you if i click generate see now it has been changed to this format okay just copy this function and keep here so make it as a departure date so this will be only one time use function right you can paste here and uh, next time onwards this function you can replace wherever you want let's say this is static function tomorrow uh, there is a fun uh, date which you have to pass 
after 10 days date feature date in that case you cannot do using this function there is another function to fast feature date so go to time shift there is a time shift function where you can pass your feature date same way you can use either whatever format you want ddmm live and the default is today's date only if you want uh, after 10 days date there is already they have given example Pre p means present date to add two days or three days now i am adding three days d means three days if you ask three t three three minutes time okay likewise h means hours likewise you have to add if i click here see today is second right it will add another three days to current date it will be fifth date okay so copy this date and add as a feature date or the arrival date okay so arrival date just paste here so this is only one time activity right if you make only one time change it will be applicable everywhere okay so now you can go ahead and add anywhere so if i want to see already i have added that uh, departure uh, date okay let me add a depart date okay arrival date also you can copy from here already i created few in my previous session they are there so i am changing them directly i am adding them arrival date just uh, you do like right uh, dollar arrival date just paste that values so once you create variable name just copy that name and paste wherever you want let's say i want to pa paste here also just create dollar just uh, make this way okay how you did in previous session right for parameterization replacing values with uh, parameterization values this is parameter name and to replace that value you have to use dollar and curly braces so this way you have to use okay and if you want to use any random number you say let's say i want to pass every time some uh, random zip code okay then what you have to do is uh, you can go to function alpha and there is a random function use random what is the number you want to pass i want to pass six digit number one two three four five six digit what is the min and max you want to pass i want to pass triple nine okay just generate one number it will generate random number and copy that already it's copied now you can directly go ahead and uh, paste here so every time this request goes one random number will be generated okay so that way you can use random uh, number okay and uh, let's say you want to pass some counter also counter means each iteration you want to know right if i know one iteration i will come to know like i want to write some code if iteration equal to one pass this request if iteration equal to two pass request for that you can use counter okay so there is a function counter use counter and uh, there is a true and false values if you use false it will be global that means all the users will use uh, same number if we, uh, the number will come for one right this one will be used for all the users that means in load run array you have uh, iteration right each all users if you run first iteration they will get as a one iteration if they run second time they will get as a two iteration right the same way you can use counter as a false it will be used for each uh, commonly for all the users if you want to pass different number for each user then do true that time user one will take one user two may take two or user three may take some number it will generate okay so it will be a different number if you say false see now it is created one value and go ahead i want to pass some uh, number here so just paste that function okay so this way you have to just uh, pass that values directly wherever you want so this is the way you want to do random numbers okay random numbers you have to use random function 
to generate uh, counter like uh, some static uh, number for each iteration then you can use some counter variable and if you want to use date in the time use time function if you want to use future date use time shift function now we did all the different uh, parameters right let's go ahead and run and see how the values are replacing here okay i think uh, I did not generate any iteration number. I am going to delete this one. I will uh, mention some number. Okay. So arrival date I passed, departure date and random number, right? So just save this. Okay, and go and uh, check in the thread group. We will uh, see now whether the values are really passing or not. Now we can see them once confirmation request passed. We are passing everything in confirmation request, right? Once confirmation request passed, then only we can see all the values. See, there is a one random uh, zip code and uh, address. What is this address? Uh, address, I am not passing anything. Oh, okay. There is a date it is going. Okay. 02 08 2020. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is going date as well. Okay. Even credit card number also it is passing 0, 0, 5. This is slash right for that it is passing 2F. Okay. So this is the date format and card type user and this is the number what we pass there. Right. This is uh, credit card month 1. This way we are passing all the values. If you run 5 iterations, you can see 5 random uh, numbers let's go ahead and run 5 iterations we will be seeing 5 different random numbers ok so let's run it in confirmation request we can see different random numbers for each uh, confirmation request yeah see it is passing 8316051 and uh, dates and everything will be same but if you see this one this is first iteration right that is the reason you see one here if you see in second iteration you will see in two okay let yeah this is the second confirmation number see two number this is this will be three and the random number will be different but this date and future date will be always same okay this here it is passing five as future date this one will be current date okay likewise you have to pass different different uh, random numbers and the uh, this ones okay let's see this is the unique uh, counter okay which will be created every time so this is the way you have to do parameterization date and time random number so those things you will do in uh, load runner right how to pass iteration number those things okay so the same way you can do here as well these are the different ways okay you can uh, use this function helper and create the values and replace them wherever you want okay so here you have different variables you can use if this number this date will be always static right it is not going to change so you use here it will be passed uh, during the test only once okay so that way you can do the parameterization okay so thank you guys thanks for watching my videos please do like my videos and uh, please share with others please do subscribe okay if you guys need any online classes please do let me know okay uh, i will check and i will get back you guys okay thank you thank you for watching we see you in a session with a different uh, concept. Bye.